to my channel. So today um, is kind of two things. I want to show you how I achieved this hairstyle. And before you click away from this video, this hairstyle right here is four weeks old. So I'm going to do it over. And so I'm going to show you that. Um, secondly, I'm going to talk about hairstyles that black women can wear in uniform uh, if their hair does not reach a bun, which is pretty typical, or if they're like in that medium TWA or short or shoulder length, but not really shoulder length, only shoulder length one stretch type phase, right? Because that's where I am. My hair is not long enough to get in a bun, um, but it's like, I don't know, it's weird. So yeah, if you want to learn about how to achieve a cute crochet twisted bob. And I'll put some images in there to show you how it looked when I first did it four weeks ago. Stay tuned. And if you also want some tips and ideas on how to wear your hair in uniform, specifically military uniform, stay tuned as well. So first off ladies, I wanna talk about the military aspect of this hairstyle. So it is, it is like beyond difficult to change your hair if like any way you want to. And I say that because every time I wanna change my hair, every time I make a hair appointment, every time I wanna try a different style, it seems a bit as if I have to check the regulation first. So the regulation, if you're not unfamiliar, is what our guidelines are that tell us um, how we work, how how we're supposed to look, how we're how we conduct business, how certain things operate. So they have a regulation um, wear and appearance of the uniform. In that regulation, it goes over what women basically can and cannot wear, what men can and cannot wear, i.e., makeup or jewelry or mustaches. It covers all of that. And then it also goes into hairstyles, specifically for women, short hair, medium hair, long hair. Generalizing this whole thing, if your hair is longer than shoulder length, specifically if it falls below the collar of your uniform, it has to go up in a bun. It can't go up in a ponytail in regular uniform, it has to be a bun. So as you can imagine, this is specifically difficult for people with kinky curly afros that you know their hair you can't just like slick it back in a bun and go to work it takes stretching it takes purposeful work to get your hair in a bun if it's just not long enough and you might be saying okay don't wear it in a bun just wear it in a fro well my hair is also too long to wear in a fro it's like it's a whole ordeal. So I usually wear it in two braids, but for this year, 2020, I decided to do a whole year of my hair in protective styling so that it could grow. Cause I honestly feel like I reached a plateau in my hair growth. I've been natural for four years and I feel like from, you know, 2019 or 2018 to 2019, it's like literally the same length. So I had some old crochet hair tip boss tip okay if you get crochet hair like this don't throw it out the first time you know when you take it out the first time use it or reuse it like i did first of all there's two major things two major things when you're thinking of doing a bob hairstyle in the regulation it only can be a two inch difference from back to front and that's in real hair, that's in plaits, that's in braids, that's in anything. So that's number one. Number two, you want to make sure that your hair, like I said it before, this is really important, that it doesn't fall below your collar. So let me put my uniform on and just show you what I mean. So this is how it looks from the side. And then from the back. So in part two of this video, I ended up going ahead and trimming the back because it was just a little too borderline for me. So and you I really don't want to, to give anyone room to say that you're um, out of uniform. And I'm doing this looking 
straight ahead. Like as if you were looking at the position of attention. Those are just things you wanna make sure before you uh, do your hairstyle. So, but for your reference, this is what I mean by below the collar. Okay, so for all you non-military folk out there, I just wanna know how to achieve a crochet bob look. Because my hair is already in, I cannot show you the the way I braided the hair. I'll tell you really quickly that to achieve a style similar to like single plaits and twists, you want to braid your hair straight back or have someone braid your hair straight back um, in rows. And by that, I mean like going back in rows like this. Number one, it looks more similar to um, the single plots and twists that you'll get. And number two, like what I just did, you can move your part. So depending on what look you're going for that day, you can move your part and it'll look different. So that's just a tip. Um, when you do like the beehive, that's probably good for weaves. However, for crochet with pre-braided and twisted hair, eh, I've done it before. It just looks, it just looks better if you do straight back rows rather than the beehive. Um, it looks more, I guess, natural. I'm just going to do um, a few in the front, maybe four, but we'll see. And I'll show you how I do that. And basically when I show you those, you do that same technique for your whole head. So before I put in those new braids or redo those braids, I just wanna co-wash my hair. So right now I'm just co-washing it. You can feel free to shampoo, whatever works for your hair. But I was just dying to have my hair cleaned. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I still wanna follow the steps I would on a regular wash day. So I put um, my go-to Shea Moisture deep conditioner in. And so I just make sure I get all through each one of those parts and touch as much as my hair as possible. And then so I can just leave it in for a good hour or so under a um, plastic bag before washing it out. So right now I'm just figuring out what section of my hair I want to go ahead and refresh, which rows, how many rows. So I decided on doing three rows, the ones that are closest to my part because that's how I wear it every day. So two rows on one side of the part and one row on the other side of that main part. And like I said before, you really want to treat this like a normal wash day and make sure you are moisturizing your hair. So I'm spraying it right now with some leave-in and that leave-in is really good to help detangle the hair. So ladies, this got to be the best edge control that I've ever had, seriously got to be ultra styling it literally works for my hair so make sure you put that on your edges or any you know your favorite edge control on your edges and down your part so right here i'm putting in some cream of nature styling mousse or any mousse or just setting lotion that you want to use to really just set this braid so it can be really nice and ready for the crochet Make sure this clasp is 
open. And then, and then grab your piece of hair, put it, the little circle that I showed you earlier, that goes here. And then you can either close the clamp, but when you slide it through, as you can see, it'll close by itself. And so that's how you get your hair through. And so you just want to um, take the hair from the clamp, put the clamp down, kind of open that hole with your finger. You're gonna push the crochet hair through, pull it. And then since mine is going, going this way, you just pull it tight and lay it down. And then also to note, you can space them out close or far, um, depending if how full you want your hair, how thin you need it to be, if it needs to get under a hat or what have you. But in the front, I like to put them pretty close. And so you just wanna Pull it all the way down till it's nice and snug on the braid. You can really see the difference in these two braids from the braid that I did four weeks ago and just all that new growth to the braid that I did today, nice and snug on the scalp. And that's why it's so easy to just do a quick refresh and you don't have to worry about doing your whole style over again. One row down and two more to go. So you just wanna make sure you just repeat the sequence over again. Do the same thing that you did before, making sure you moisturize your hair and really seal that moisture in before putting braiding it up and putting it in the crochet. So if my hair looks a little different in this clip, I don't know if you can tell, but I decided to go ahead and rebraid that first braid that I did. The space from 
where my part was to the crochet braid was really bugging me. So I just decided to redo it before I even proceeded any further. So just a tip, if you want your part to be seen or a certain part to be seen, braid that hair as closely to that part as possible. Thank you all so much for tuning in to my channel to see how you can achieve this bob crochet hairstyle. Make sure you see part two where I'll show you how I trim and burn my ends and just complete the rest of the look. Bye.